High traders, S&P 500 finished up by 1.5% for the week, a new all-time high, and up by 5.8% for, for the year. So did we have a Brexit? Did we have a terror attack in France or maybe a coup attempt in Turkey? The market don't care. Money keeps pouring in and institutional investors who are now afraid to lag behind their competitors are forced to chase the price up. The market is trending higher and recently published US economy news is good. Interest rate remains low and therefore the market should continue moving higher. We are moving into the quarterly earnings season and as a trader I expect to find a lot of interesting intraday opportunities. Let's take a look at the technical view of the market. As we can see, after a short Brexit crash, the market moved higher into new highs. The past three weeks were very, very strong, but I would like to take a look at the weekly chart of the S&P 500, and here is the weekly. Now, as we can see here, we moved to a new high. This is a very, very strong breakout formation, and it, ex it is expected, as I mentioned earlier, to continue. Let's take a look at uh, last week's picks. My first pick was Yahoo Long. Yahoo did trigger, however, didn't do much, which is uh, quite disappointing because the market did move up. So I'm still waiting for Yahoo. My second pick, SLCA Long, did trigger, however, moved down. So we have a loser at SLCA. So both of my triggers didn't work out sufficiently. Let's uh, take a look at uh, this week's picks. My first pick for the week is ADM Long, over 44 and 14 cents. It's a farm product company in the US, very nice technical formation. I hope it's going to trigger and move higher. My second pick for the week, I don't think uh, introduction is needed, is Caterpillar Long, over $81. I think Caterpillar has a very good chance of changing its trend. So I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.